Okay, so to, so right now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to find the modules and how you would study for your ATI dosage exam. So just a reminder that ATI dosage exam um, is given um, and you need to pass with a score of greater than 90%, okay? Um, and so ATI has specific modules that will allow you to prepare for that. These are self-study. You don't need to turn them in. And, you know, again, they're just self-study. So please don't wait to the last minute to prepare for this um, because there is a decent amount of content. So again, I'm on, I'm on my, my ATI tab and then I'm under the learn tab right here. Okay. You're going to look for dosages, calculation and safe medication 3.0 which is right here. So again, dosage calculation and safe medication 3.0. There is, when you click on the modules, there's going to be nine modules. Okay, you do not need to do all these modules, at least at this point. You have to pass a dosage exam in every semester, depending on the content. Um, so for like example, second semester, you're going to do the IV medication ones. Third semester, you're going to have a dosage exam on pediatrics and maternal health. OK, so there's all those modules that are in here, but specific ones that you need to do for this first semester dosage exam are going to be these ones. So your first one is going to be dosages by weight. You're going to need to do medication administration, oral medication, and then safe dosage. So there's four modules that highly recommend that you complete and work through to prepare yourself for that ATI dosage exam. Um, and just one more time quickly, dosages by weight, medication administration, oral medications, and then safe dosage. Those are the ones that you need to do. The other quick thing I wanted to point out on this one is um, there's obviously going to be some math and calculation involved in these. So when I click on this lesson, we've all been taught different ways of how to do math. So built into this module is multiple ways if you seem not to be getting the correct answer. Um, so I'm, our, I'm here and converting ounces to pounds. It gives me a problem to work through to practice. Um, and then it kind of shows me what's going on. All right. Maybe this is not the exact way that you learned how to, to complete this. So what you would do then is up in the right hand corner, there's this methods button. And when you click this methods button, then you have three different ways. Maybe you were taught ratio and proportion, and that's the way you want to um, continue to learn. So then what they're going to do is it would show you this question utilizing that method. And then if you want to desire over half, you click on that tab, and then it's going to show you that way. So again, that's just another option for your learning, um, how, to, how to utilize that. And again, I'd highly recommend that you complete all four of those dosage modules to prepare adequately for this um, dosage exam.